Hello. <coughs> Sorry. I'm Zeke Solo. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this SE Saturday. Today's racer is a very special one for me and I'll get into that later. It's this one. It's the above the tie uh, SE slant. It uses uh, Artist Club uh, blades and it is the only one to my knowledge that is an artist club and then a slant too. I have this in the brushed version with the four inch handle. Total weight of it is 133 grams. So this is a heavy brother. In it I have a feather professional blade on its second use. Today's soap, just before turning on the camera, I noticed a snowman, actually two snowmen uh, one here and one here. So maybe this is supposed to be a wind ascent. This is April 1st. Um, so April, April's Fool's Day. So is that it? No, it's just, well, we still have snow here. The summer, the spring starts in the middle of April here. So we still have plenty of snow. And to me, this is just one of those scents when you really need a, a slap in the face because this is mentholated, that's what you use. It's the peppermint latte. So you get peppermint and you get um, a coffee latte, a light one, and then you get a smack in the face from the menthol. The brush is this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, rich man shaving. Uh, I call it Gandalf the White, uh, that Rich very kindly made for me. Uh, on my request. Um, I'm using this because Rich is back in business after uh, a long hiatus to you know to gather his troops and to you know you know get some time off. So I'll link to his Etsy site but you need to be fast because they are selling like hot bread as we say in Scandinavia. You need to hurry. He has a Facebook site too um, what is it called? A rich man shaving? Something like that. Uh, I'll link to that too. And the, uh, he puts, uh, you know, posts there with his new brushes whenever they are available. And then you need to hurry because they are on my back. Um, the ball is Rich's favorite ball. Uh, it's the Pereira Unbreakable. Uh, I have this here in white to match the handle. There you have them. Okay, so Master Soap Creation Soap. If you want a menthol slab, you know, that's where to go for me. Um, as you might have seen, oh, there's a hair. This is the, the Unicorn, Unicorn's main cashmere knot. Uh, it's as I've said in a lot of videos, oh man, this is all over. Uh, <laughs> um, the cashmere knot is my favorite because of the softness. I like a lot of other knots too, but the cashmere, you know, the f the, the the nice touch on the skin, the the gentle touch, you might say. Um, okay, so my lips are starting to get numb, uh, so. You definitely know already that this is a cashmere rubbish, but this is a menthol soap. In my view, I tried a lot of different ones. This is the best mentholated soap in the business for me. Tell me below, do you like menthol? Mentholated soaps? Do we have a favorite? Oh, what's that? Seems seems the main unicorn's main knot is shedding a little you know what it's it's newish so my eyes are starting to water my nose is starting to run but you know so you need to know 
if menthol is not your thing, you prefer a milder menthol, this is not a soap for you. Then you go for Russia Green or something, because that's to me that's a, a much milder, uh, very much milder. Ventilated soap. So, April Fool's Day. Knock on wood. Nothing has happened so far. So, that always makes you wonder what is about to happen. What will happen later? So, did you make some good pranks? Did you see good pranks in the news? They always have. A crazy story in the news, in the evening news, on the telly here. The newspapers on their sides have something outrageous and every year people fall for it, you know. No, don't uh, sell. One year it was that they were about to sell, that was in Denmark. Uh, that they have sold uh, the Little Mermaid statue, Hans Christian Andersen, uh, a famous uh, statue in Copenhagen, that they had sold it and that they were putting in a statue of a football player, I think, something like that instead. Uh, so, people were furious raging and all that so that's always fun one year many years ago i called my father at four o'clock in the morning i told him that i went to get a morning newspaper and that i forgot my key he left 30 minutes away and i waited for five, six minutes, about the time I knew he would use to get up and get his clothes on and get his car keys. And then I called him and said, April's full. And all he said was, well, I don't think I can say that on this channel, but something to be, something to, well, he wasn't happy. He called me names, you know, in a love and caring way. So, and I believe that's one of the best ones I've pulled. That's one of the only ones I can remember. So, have you pulled a good prank on someone on April Fool's Day? Or, how do you go about it? Good thing it's a Saturday. So I'm not at work. I don't have to endure all the small pranks at work, you know. The entire day you doubt if you get a mail from someone in the organization I work for the government, whether it's a joke or it's not. So nothing is taken too serious all day. Okay. So let's have a feel. Very little down here, but that's about it. This feel here, this dug over a little there. I think that's about it. The soap from Master Soap Creations is 
the base that Mandel has been using from the get-go. This is of course mentholated, but um, you know, tallow based and all the good skin stuff in it. Uh, it's just so good for your skin. I can actually, I can actually, you know, shave and just leave it at that. That's how much uh, great skin food is in it. The face starts to, you know, tingle. You know, you get because of the amount of menthol. And now I'm about to, you know, turn it up to 11, as they say, because I got the splash. This one here. Uh, I cannot see if that's sharp, but that's the splash for it. And he uses rose water and witch hazel, so no alcohol in it but a lot of menthol. So, if that's not your thing, you have to watch out. Keep this away from your eyes. This is milky white. And then, ah, wish for the best. Oh, you know, it almost, I don't know if you know that feeling when you have a very strong scent, uh, you know, it always knocks your breath out. That's how I feel with this. A lovely oozing, tingling sensation on the skin. Wow. And then when you stop and you get some air on it, you know it just triples or quadruples or whatever, quintuples. Okay, I'm using this even though I don't have to, but because this is the scent to use, the balm to use when you have a peppermint and a little menthol, the Cremo. Not that I need it actually, but you know, I just like the scent of it. It's very mild uh, compared to the other products used today, but you know, just takes the edge off, you know, and gives such a great sound when I do my sound test. You know, you have to consider that. All the musicians watching just to see if the head is in tune and stuff. Okay, are you ready? Perfect the mondo. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six solo.